Hello and welcome to Asia Calling, your window on Asia. In today's program, Pakistan vows to make nuclear the country's largest energy source. And Burma's only Jewish synagogue becomes a top tourist destination. Also, we visit India's ancient ghost fair. Welcome to the program, I'm Rebecca Hinschke. Pakistan is vowing to make nuclear the country's largest energy source. The country already has three operational nuclear plants and has begun work on another two. The government hopes nuclear will ultimately provide a relatively low-cost solution to the power cuts that affect daily life in Pakistan. Saif Khan reports from the 2000 megawatt plant that's been built with Chinese technical assistance on the Arabian Sea west of Karachi. Abdul Rahman Goat is a centuries old fishing village outside Karachi. Not much has changed here in Ahmad Baloch's life until a nuclear power plant started being built nearby. Fears about a terrorist attack on the nuclear power plants have led to massive security around them. Leaving the fishermen locked out. Families here use very little electricity. But elsewhere, the country is starving for energy. Electricity shortfall means there are blackouts for up to 10 hours in the major cities. Frustrations often spill out onto the streets. The government believes nuclear is the answer. Asfar Minhaj is the project director of K1 and K2 nuclear power plants. But many are worried about a nuclear disaster, given Pakistan's security situation and poor safety standards. One of Pakistan's most celebrated nuclear scientists is speaking out. Germany Nuclear power operators are trying to downplay these concerns and say with Chinese technical assistance the plants are safe. वो पानी गई वो टरबाइन में टरबाइन से कंडेंसर में गया कंडेंसर से वो कंडेंस हुआ वापस प्लांट पे आ गया वो कहीं बाहर नहीं जाना क्रिटिक्स आर नॉट कन्विंस्ड एनवायरमेंटलिस्ट्स से द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दैट द कंट्री हैज एट द मोमेंट इज बीइंग पोअरली मैनेज्ड यू नो वी हैव एन अमेजिंग सिचुएशन नाउ दैट ऑन द नेशनल ग्रिड एट लीस्ट 30% इज लॉस्ट because it travels over a thousand kilometers to Karachi 
distribution system is bad, loses because when you when you send electricity somewhere, if there is resistance, you lose that much. Now 30%, imagine, if you could halve it, you don't need any more production of electricity. For now, the fishermen who lives in the shadows of the nuclear power plants are not thinking about a nuclear disaster and the impact that could have on their fish. For now, their major concern is that the security is not allowing them to go out to sea. In Abdul Rahman Goat, I'm Shadi Khan Saif for Asia Calling.